So now we're going to do a brief recap of Port.io, something you learned about in Architecture 2001, but which is of particular interest to us here because you will often see BIOSes using Port.io to access the PCI configuration address space, as well as various other peripherals at early boot time. So we're going to want to understand that so we can understand this. Now as a reminder, the port IO address space is completely separate from the memory address space. It's not like memory mapped IO. You can't just use a move assembly instruction to access it. You have to use dedicated in and out assembly instructions. And as a reminder, you can think of it as if there were 65,000 ports, each of which is one byte big, or you can take and combine two adjacent byte size ports to create a 16 bit port or four of them to create a 32-bit port. Each of these ports is ultimately going to be mapped to some sort of peripheral device, some sort of other piece of hardware. So an interesting and relevant question is how does the hardware actually distinguish between port IO and memory access? And the answer is that way back on the Intel 8088 chip, there was this IO pin. And this particular pin would allow the processor to understand whether a particular access was ultimately destined for memory or for port IO. 